Today we are talking about products I swear by for your home. And we're just gonna jump right into the first one, which is a Berkey filter. Now Berkey filter, okay, they're very pricey. I'm not gonna lie. We've had ours since I believe 2017. I actually was so excited about buying this that when I bought it, I put a picture up of it on Instagram and I told you guys how good of a deal I got on it because I got it around like Black Friday, Cyber Monday in like 2017. So I'm, I'm gonna try to find that picture and put it right here. But basically it just takes your good old tap water and it like filters everything out with carbon filters and also fluoride filters because Dimitri and I, we bought both. Um, and at the time it came with this huge bundle that um, had glass bottles and all types of accessories, some of which we actually sold off. But that's the first one I recommend, just like delicious tasting water, love it. It beats bottled water any day. <laughs> The second one, oh my gosh, is actually a portable heater because if you guys are friends with me on Patreon, you know that when I was sharing my budget report, we on Christmas Eve, nope, Christmas Day, our heater blew out and it was like the coldest time in New Jersey, our like our furnace. So I wish that I would have had this, but it's portable heaters, portable heaters. You don't want to be cold. You don't want to be caught being cold. Um... And I feel like we have an electric fireplace. So we were kind of like hanging out in front of the electric fireplace the whole time, but our living room is huge. It's so huge. So it wasn't containing the, the heat enough. You know what I mean? But I totally recommend having port like at least one portable heater for your house. You never know. You never know. The third thing that I recommend is having spare water on hand um, one time. And, and I never knew that this can happen because I used to live in the city. So like, this never happened to us before, but now since we've moved one time, our water, like our water was just not on for like three hours. We had no warning that it was going to be turned off. Nothing. It just wasn't on for three hours. There was no explanation why. Dimitri called the city and they never even got back to us. The water ended up getting turned on again, but I was like, why? That is so strange. Like, cause it's just never happened to me before. So I really suggest having gallons and gallons of water on hand, cause you just never know. Um, and we've had ours since we had our van build. We had these um, collapsible um, water jugs. They're, they hold five gallons each um, since our van build. And we just kind of kept them. The next thing that I recommend is flashlights. You're never gonna be upset having flashlights in your house. Because like I said, you never know. <laughs> definitely decluttered our flashlights to move into the van and I kind of regret it because now I have to get flashlights again. I'm hoping that I could find some for free though um, by browsing the internet. Oh, this next one is like totally my favorite since I'm the person that tends to clean the most in the house, which I don't mind, but I like for things to make my life easy. And this next one is actually kind of like, it's a Mr. Clean mop. Um, kind of like a Swiffer basically, um, but I have five replaceable heads for it so that I can mop every single day because we have five cats. So I just love this over a traditional mop with like the cotton strings because um, I just feel like they push mop water around. I really like having all of this, all of these like replaceable heads. Uh, they bring me a lot of joy and I could just pop them into the washing machine and use them forever. Two out of five of the replaceable heads are so old and they've lasted all this time. So that's the thing that I love about them over a mop too, is like a mop you have to replace kind of often or you have to be really good at taking care of it. If not, it's gonna smell boom bow, <laughs> which, I don't know how to say bombao in English. Anyways, the other thing that I recommend is I actually at my, my mentor hit me up one day and was like, hey, what do you guys want for a housewarming gift? And I was like, oh my God, I wasn't even expecting a housewarming gift because I just don't expect for people to get us things. <laughs> but um, when she said that, I was like, I have the perfect thing that I want. And guess what I asked for? A life vac. So I don't know if you guys know about the life vac, but um, this it's very expensive as well. It's like seventy dollars. Um, it actually, since Demetri and I don't know CPR, I always fear that he's gonna choke, especially because he inhales his food. Like this guy does not chew at all, and I'm always telling him how important it is to masticate, but he doesn't listen. Um, so he doesn't chew his food at all, and I have also found myself like choking. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just like coughing and coughing, coughing and I'm like, I can't get this piece of food out. 
And it's scary because we both don't know how to do the Heimlich. We don't know CPR. So I was like, you know what? The best thing that we can do since I have agoraphobia and it, it would actually be better for me to go take a CPR class. Um, but since I have agoraphobia, I was like, let's just get the life back because I think it's super important. It's um, this contraction that you put like over your mouth area. You completely seal it around your mouth and then it has a pump and you pull the pump like this and it's supposed to take out lodged pieces of food. They have an amazing website. If you want more, more information, it talks about how many lives it's saved uh, a lot of children tend to choke on hot dogs um, that tends to be the culprit but also uh, candy candy is another thing that people tend to choke on and um, a lot of older people that live alone tend to die a lot in the in a year because uh, they're choking and they don't have anyone to save them so the life back you could help save yourself and that's why I will never ever ever be um, upset about sharing this product with you guys. When, when I found out about it, I was like, I need it. I need it. Like, absolutely. Um, now, I actually asked Dimitri what he would recommend to you guys. And here is what he said. He recommends having a lot of towels on hand. Uh, he's done. He's changed out our toilet. He's changed out our faucet. He's changed out our vanity. He's amazing. I know. And um, he has not regretted having towels on hand, like when you have a house. But also we had to, we bought this vanity and this vanity was so heavy. It landed on my shoulder, cut my shoulder and gave me the deepest bruise ever. Um, it was full granite and real wood. Uh, we ended up selling it because unfortunately it didn't fit in the clove that was supposed to house our vanity. So very upsetting. But in order to drag it across our house, guess what we used? A towel. You put the towel underneath each little leg and then you drag it in it and it kind of just saves your back from having to walk and carry that piece of furniture. So towels are amazing. And you know what? I felt like putting Dimitri's things in here because they're important. The second thing is a security system. If you don't want to pay for a subscription to like ADT or Sher Sherman Williams, that's paint. I forgot. Shloman, Shloman Shields. <laughs> I forgot what the other security company was called, so my bad, but um, you can actually get security systems like the Ring, um, the Blink, the other ones that they're called. Dimitri and I actually have the Eufy system. Um, I like, after all my research, okay, and it was a lot, um, I realized that the Ring, Blink, and the other, all the other cameras, they were like inferior compared to the one that we got, and ours doesn't even require a subscription service, so I was really happy about that. So it's E-U-F-Y, and I will link it down below for you all. Um, anything that I come up with today, I will link down below. The last one is actually a battery bank um, that Dimitri recommended, and I do agree with him. That's why I shared it. The battery bank that we have, we keep it in the car. It is for jumping the car, actually, but it also has um, a flashlight on it, and it could charge a lot of your... If it could jump your car twice, like it's jump start your car, my bad. <laughs> if it could jump start your car twice, then you know that it's gonna be able to charge all of your devices hella times. So we really love our battery bank. It was like $60, I think, or 50, but it's it saved us so many times, especially when we had the van. We used to actually jump start our van, our freaking ProMaster, okay, Dodge Ram ProMaster with the battery bank. So um, yeah, these are all of our recommendations and I wonder how many of them you have. Are there any things that you recommend for a house? Um, let me know down below. I'm so curious. <laughs> um, thank you so much for all my patrons. Amanda, Michael, Mindy, and Lacey. Uh, that is like so easy to remember at this point. I got all your names down pat. Um, and thank you all here that are on YouTube watching me. Um, I'm so appreciative of your support. And I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye.